Hey everybody, so this is uh, Senjen Bay. The ground that I'm standing on right now, it's landfill. So 10 years ago, it was like ocean down here. And the buildings that you see, the skyline, they were built in the last six to seven years because I came here about like eight years ago and this did not exist. That's how fast Senjen built things. So anyway, I'm here because I'm about to attend Opal's Tech Insider event. A two-day show where media such as myself get together to visit Opal's labs and factories to have a behind-the-scenes look at how Opal develop and build their innovation for upcoming products. And the products include more than just smartphones, but also like AR glasses, MR headsets, smartwatches, how they built the foldable phone screens and the camera system. And Oppo's camera systems have been pretty good. In fact, you're watching footage shot with the ultra wide camera of the Oppo Find N3. I'm going to film most of the two days with the Oppo Find N3 because I think this camera system is absolutely one of the best on the market right now, not just in foldable phones, but in all the phones period by the way i may present the stuff i see out of order on video because i actually think day two is a little bit more interesting than day one and one last note this video is sponsored by opal but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be able to say whatever i want you'll see in the video i'm still myself so let's get going okay so we're outside opal's intelligent imaging lab this is where Oppo uses robotics and AI to build its camera technologies. So this is a robot that Oppo designed to test its camera. So what it will do is it has an Oppo Find X6 Pro in there. It will move around various real life scenarios such as right here it's like yellow lighting and then over there you have white lighting and then out there is natural lighting and it will snap a bunch of photos. So the point is that it's automating the camera testing experience. It will snap a bunch of photos in various orientations in different lighting conditions for the engineers to later examine. So you're watching 3X telephoto zoom lens right now. Look at the nice subtle depth of field between the camera and the dude like right there in the background. And yes, this is a selfie ticking robot. So this head, which looks kind of a little bit scarily realistic is apparently based on an actual Opal employee. So yeah. Yeah, it's exposing my face properly too. There's two humans in the face and it's exposing properly. See, it's picking up all three of our faces right now. And then watching 3X zoom right now. Alright, so this is like the Captain America elevator scene. Okay, we're at Opal's NFC lab right now where they're testing NFC capabilities of all the devices. They have a robot arm to take the phone, tap it into various NFC readers. So this is actually my second time visiting Opal's factories. I came here like five years ago where I interviewed the man who invented VOOC fast charging. And I think it's cool that Opal is more open to let media come see behind the scenes and also film. Because I've actually visited the factories of LG, Huawei, Honor, and Xiaomi before, but they wouldn't let me film. And then if I couldn't film, then I couldn't share anything. But luckily, Opal is a lot more open. So we're going to the production line right now where they're actually making the Fine N3. And then we're gonna see quality control too. So to test the phone folding, test the phone dropping. Okay, so we're about to visit the production line where they manufactured the Opal Find N3. And uh, we have to dress like this because we're entering the production line. So you don't want like loose hair and other like dust or whatever getting to the foldable phone. So we have to cover head to toe and then we have to go through a little tunnel with a really strong fan that will blow. Mr. Bay, let me get a 3X zoom. Our uh, 3.x zoom right now. Okay, so we just finished the production line tour. We basically saw the production of the Opal Find N3 from beginning to end. The production line is longer than usual because making a foldable phone, it's more complicated. You have to examine every bit, put the camera module in place, put the display panel on, glue it on, make sure the hinge is correct. And then we saw the Opal Find N3 go through a series of torture tests, including being sprayed with water continuously, being dropped onto concrete floor, and a bunch of other like twist tests and a folding test because the hinge gets tested up to 1 million times apparently. As for the drop test, I had no worries that the Opal Find N3 was going to survive the drop because a month and a half ago, I actually dropped the Find N3 while I was biking in Los Angeles. The phone dropped, hit concrete floor, bounced around twice, and if you look at the side of the phone, it's completely busted, but the screen completely doesn't have a scratch. The inner screen also does not have a scratch, so 
Oppo phones are very, very durable. So in this particular lab called the Cyber Wheel, we got to check out Oppo's AR technology and also a prototype mixed reality headset. So this is not a consumer product. This is a developer kit that Oppo is letting people in China test and they're going to develop games for MR, AR, VR headsets. And then eventually, pretty sure that will be a consumer product coming down the line. So there's a lot of cool stuff here. And you see here, my friend TK is busy testing the MR headset. And you can see actually what he's looking at, and it looks pretty good. By the way, the footage you're watching right now is shot with the Oppo Find N3 on an extended selfie stick main camera. I am using external audio because there's a lot of people here, so it's a little bit loud. But the Oppo Find N3's camera system is excellent and really good for vlogging, particularly since you can unfold the phone and use the outside cover screen as a viewfinder too. Okay, now you're watching ultra-wide camera footage, and we're going to Oppo's communications lab. That's a very smart way to have a vlog camera. Okay, so I am at Oppo's uh, communications protocol lab. This is where they have equipment to test 5G. You can see Oppo worked closely with Qualcomm to develop some of the equipments in this lab. This lab not only allows Oppo to simulate different network conditions in just China, but also simulate different network carriers around the world. So in this lab, Oppo can test whether their phones will work in, say, T-Mobile in the US or Docomo in Japan. I'm at Oppo's health and fitness lab right now, where you see there's a dude working out rigorously. There's also a lot of other fitness equipment here. This is where Oppo's testing their health tracking data for their wearables, like the Oppo Watch 4. And right here we have ultra wide. Let's zoom in to telephoto 3x. He asked if I want to do a running test on the treadmill. I am obviously very out of shape, so I don't think I can last more than two minutes, but I will try. While I'm running, the guy's gonna be here checking my vitals. So I may have a heart attack mid-air. So TK, please be ready to call the ambulance in need. <laughs> oh, okay. So the Bane mask on my face is to test my lung to see how much oxygen it can take in when I breathe in. There's also a heart rate monitor strapped to my chest. Uh, this graph is show the uh, oxygen intake. Okay. Okay. And then you can see your heart rate. To okay, here we have another running lab. These are 3D cameras that are measuring her posture. So right here you can see her gait and her movement. And I believe she's wearing an Opal watch. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, she's wearing an Opal watch. Oh, yeah, then you can see the yeah. results right here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna measure my body fat percentage of this machine. I already know it's gonna be a little bit better. Okay, I'm I, I, eating, eating too much. Uh, data <laughs> uh, The body fat percent over here. 24.4, that's actually not bad. I, I, I'm happy because anything under 25 is okay. Now. Okay, I'm outside the Opal XR lab. This is where Opal's testing its uh, XR products including the prototype Oppo MR glass developer kit which is right here so this is a prototype for developers to work on XR products so this robot arm is to automate the testing of the headset calibrate it to make sure the calibrate is consistent and also it's moving to calibrate every pixel precisely for all the products okay you're watching ultra wide camera footage and I am here at Oppo's data center this large-scale data center was built in 2020 in response to the growing demand for data storage, artificial intelligence, and high-performance computing. Well, we basically just looked at Oppo's supercomputers that are handling all of Oppo's machine learning data. So Color OS 14, which I have not got to try yet, apparently dives deeper into AI machine learning, and that's what these servers are for. And these servers are being kept cool by gigantic fans and also uh, liquid coolant. Okay, we're done with the factory visit. Now we're gonna go eat hot pot. Sichuan Mala hot pot in particular. But check out how good the low light camera is of the Oppo Find N3. Let's zoom into this uh, guy right here. So 3.3x zoom right now. Out to the ultra wide. Okay, back to main camera. Okay, this is funny. Even though this is a Sichuan cuisine, there's a lot of pictures of uh, Hong Kong movie stars. You know, Hong Kong and Sichuan, they're not the same place. Yeah. Look at how spicy that looks. Oh my goodness. 
So I left the hot pot early to walk back to the hotel so I can start editing the video because I have so much to do. As much as I like hot pot, I am more a street eats type of guy, especially when I'm traveling. Like I actually like to come eat these street cards where you can get a really good meal for like one to two US dollars. So what's my takeaway after two days? My takeaway is that I appreciate the foldable phone even more because I see how much work it goes into putting together the phone. Because you have to remember the display and the hinge, they're moving parts. So putting that display and hinge onto a device takes a lot more time and effort than just putting a traditional slap screen. With that said, I am glad to see Oppo's using more automation to test his cameras. So, you know, that cuts down on the manpower needed to test cameras in a bunch of different conditions. And these robots now are smart enough. And obviously, I think Oppo's cameras are really good. The Find n 3s camera system is the best in a foldable phone. And then probably good enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the slap premium flagships too. I also like the Health Lab a lot, even though that running test almost gave me a heart attack. It's good to see Oppo put some resources into building wearables that don't just look good, but can actually track your vital health data accurately. Ultimately, my takeaway is that Oppo is a major tech player for a reason because they put a lot of effort into building the technology and innovation. And I'm glad that Oppo is transparent too to let us go behind the scenes, look, and also report. Because like I said, I've seen the production factory lines of several phone brands, but they wouldn't let me say or report anything. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. It will help me a lot. I have a lot more coming. It's actually... Even though it's like almost December, it is still very busy for me. So stay tuned. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.